Chris, too. Okay. Now, probably this is a big reason why I'm a little bit different than most. See, I think the key to great relationship is to have sex first. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> That's right. If somebody cannot impress you in bed, why should you get to know him? He's not clapping anymore. <laughs> Sorry. Good. The other reason is you have to find out if you're going to be sleeping with the human burrito. Yeah, oh, yeah, you know. I'll tell them. This is the person that takes the blanket at night and they tuck it and they turn. Tuck, turn, tuck, turn, tuck, turn. Human burrito. And then trying to get a piece of the blanket is like starting a lawnmower. Come on, please have a little blanket. Say, sex first. It's like, you know, it's practical. It's not rude. I'm saving you, like, probably you time, you know, you know, you money. It's practical. It's practical. So, uh, I'm glad I'm here tonight, though, because uh, this week, my asthma has been kicking my ass. I do have the asthma. Actually, I think they should call it, like, Jewish respiratory disease. So that's what it is. And God's a big prankster. Oh, let's give Jesus big fat noses, but don't let him breathe. Ha ha. <laughs> yeah, freaking hysterical, man. And asthma is scary because you know what? Breathing, not optional. And then I find like asthma will get you at three o'clock in the morning, which I've learned is not a convenient time to die. No, I'll call my girlfriends. Bring, hello. <gasps> Click. I'll call my guy friends. Bring, hello. <gasps> hey, what are you wearing? doesn't make any sense. 